Welcome back to my studio. I'm Bea Group and I love to inspire you. It is all about art journaling, painting, collage, assemblages and anything else that sparks my interest. So enjoy! Hey everybody, welcome back to my studio. So glad you are here. Now, today I want to do again my work for the hashtag let us start with art you know this video hop collaboration with a bunch of youtubers i have tried out first on some postcards my idea of monochromatic plants flowers whatever you want to call it and i made it into postcard and stay tuned till the end of the video there is a little surprise for you there and then I went to one of my art journal pages, you know, the kind of uh, the loose pages I'm going to bind into an art journal. Again, starts just with the monochromatic. There was already some paint here, as you can see, and there was some damage here, but it's just an art journal page to try out things. That's what it is, you know. So I was thinking um, that was, by the way, acrylic paint, ordinary paint, while those are all uh, acrylic ink. And that's what I'm going to use for this time. Now, I have been pretty busy lately. I have finished up a class, which you still actually can book if you like. It's called Fanciful Flowers. It is a studio class, it is a live Zoom class, or it is a video on demand class, whatever you like. So check it out over at my website. Then some other news, uh, I'm gonna have a collaboration starting end of September for a video hop again, uh, just a small one, just two other people. Mike Deacon and Gina Orange. So every last Saturday once a month we want to do a sort of a collaboration. Uh, it's going to be about the mood board we do and everybody going to do what he wants. I still going to go on with the, this um, video collaboration. No worries about that. Other than that, what can I tell you? We had uh, like one and a half week of nice weather where we could go places. <laughs> So we did do like little trips to places we like and one is uh, one I really like is the Bruno Weber Park. I'm gonna have the link down below in the description. He was a fantastic, very whimsical uh, artist. He made buildings with uh, heads on and uh, he made like uh, chairs with uh, like in the form of a bird, tables in the form of a bird. Check it out. I do have a little video in my Facebook uh, page, Bear's Mixed Me Bear Group Mixed Media and More, my business page. That's where I post all my things art related or, yeah, you know, less private things. I actually don't, don't share a lot of private things in Facebook anyway, just saying. Anyway, so I was thinking today I'm gonna do a a piece I do have a frame hold on a second I want to put something in this frame which um, so I did cut my paper accordingly and uh, I want to do it with acrylic ink like I did those postcards and I really like this color which is a Bombay blue India ink it's from the Dr. Piha Martins there's only a little bit left on it. I think I'm going to use that. What kind of flower? I'm not sure yet. We'll see. What I use for that is, first of all, I'm going to sketch in a little bit with my mechanical pencil. I have an eraser here. Then I do love my Nero Medium, which is an oil-based um, charcoal. It's from Creta Color. And then I have something very special, which was in this... Um, packaging it's a, a pen from glass and I must say I do love to work with this glass pen it seems for me much easier than the ordinary pens I tried out so what else I also need a little small brush and a sort of a palette <laughs> you know my palettes by now 
I use mostly those food lid, those from the food containers, the lid. I'm gonna need some uh, washi tape to have somewhat straight lines. <laughs> um, I certainly could do better than this one, anyway. And then I have my water. That's all I need for that kind of work. So with no further ado, let's dive into my monochromatic flower thingy. And I'm not good at doing straight lines, so I use rulers. That's the reason why I use washi tapes later on. I just don't feel it. So what kind of flower do I want and what kind of ways? I usually start with the table. I define where my table is going to be. And I'm thinking this time... see a line here. I'm going to do a tablecloth and again for that I'm using my just my ruler just to be on the safe side. I think I'm gonna go for a rose. It's just one of my most favorite flowers. I do love them. We do have we do have a lot of roses in our garden, but I'm gonna combine it with um, other stuff too. Okay, I'm using the acrylic ink like any India ink. I just dip my um, uh, pen into the ink and hopefully I don't make a mess. I do some sketchy lines. I follow less, more or less, the lines I have already with, done with my um, Miro medium, but I'm not too concerned if it doesn't, if it isn't quite on the same spot.
now onto my washi tape. I have a really small bond, like um, four millimeter, and this one is one and a half, 15 millimeters, one and a half centimeters. And I think I'm gonna start with that. That's the point where I'm gonna need my brush. I'm first gonna add my stripes here. And I don't want it um, that dark blue, so I'm gonna add a little bit water to my ink. And I'm trying to pick up what I have here. So, so that I don't waste it. So it basically looks a little bit like watercolor, but it is permanent when it is dry. Now here I leave just a tiny little gap between my leaf shape here and the wallpaper. Here you have to be careful that you don't uh, paint into the table. So again, I leave a tiny little gap. And also here with the berries, flowers, whatever this is, I leave a little gap. Give it a quick heat blast just before I remove the tape, just so I don't smear any ink. Now I'm also going to paint in the flowers with the diluted ink
done with the ink but I want to go in again with the mirror I think especially the wallpaper Okay, here I am with my finished painting. Now I wanted to show you real quick what it looks like in a frame because that makes symptom really a difference. So, but I obviously don't gonna use the glass to show you. And when I gonna hang it, I actually gonna put the glass on it, but there's just too much glare in the camera with that. So that what it looks like in a frame. I think I'm gonna put that into my kitchen. That's not something I do for sale. That's just sometimes I keep stuff for myself. Just saying. <laughs> anyway, now that is this. And uh, I was talking at the beginning of the video that there is a little surprise for you. And the surprise is you maybe guessed it already. I'm gonna send those postcards to the first four nice comments I have uh, underneath that video. So the first one gets to choose the color, the second one, what the, the second color, the third one, the third color and the fourth one, yeah, he gets what it gets. Now, leave me a comment and at the same time, please send me an email that you want one of those um, cards because I need a way to contact you for your postal address. So you need both. You need to comment, nice comment, please. <laughs> And uh, you need to send me an email. You can find my email address in the about section uh, in my channel information. So I hope you enjoyed and I hope to see you soon. Take care. Bye.